Have you ever wondered what happens to a star when it reaches the end of its life? Or what would it look like if a massive star exploded in a supernova? And what if that star was just a few hundred light years away, like Betelgeuse in the constellation Orion? Today, we're diving into the mystery of this remarkable star and answering some of the biggest questions surrounding it. You might have heard that this giant star has been dimming recently, and that has some scientists wondering, is Betelgeuse about to go supernova? But is this really the case? And what does it mean for us here on Earth? As physicist Brian Cox has pointed out, Betelgeuse's eventual supernova could be one of the most extraordinary celestial events in modern history. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break it all down. Let's start with a fundamental question. What exactly is a supernova, and how does it relate to Betelgeuse? A supernova is an enormous explosion that happens when a star reaches the end of its life. For a star like Betelgeuse, which is about 10 times the mass of our sun, it will eventually run out of fuel to burn. When that happens, the star can no longer support its own weight and collapses in on itself, triggering a massive explosion a supernova. During a supernova, the core of the star collapses and releases an enormous amount of energy. This explosion can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would be one of the most spectacular events visible from Earth, even potentially being seen during the day. But here's the big question. Is Betelgeuse actually about to go supernova? Well, astronomers have been monitoring the star closely, and in 2019, they noticed something strange. Betelgeuse started to dim, significantly more than usual. Now, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star, which means it's already in the later stages of its life. It regularly experiences variations in brightness as it expands and contracts. But this recent dimming raised some eyebrows, could it be a sign that Betelgeuse is about to explode? It turns out that the dimming wasn't caused by the star's impending death, at least not directly. Instead, scientists discovered that Betelgeuse had expelled a large cloud of dust and gas. This cloud blocked some of the light coming from the star, making it appear dimmer from Earth. This kind of behavior is actually common in red supergiants, but the scale of Betelgeuse's dimming was much more dramatic than usual. So why is Betelgeuse so important? Well, it's one of the closest red supergiants to Earth, about 725 light years away. It's also one of the brightest stars in the night sky, so it's been an object of study for astronomers for centuries. Because of its size and mass, it's inevitable that Betelgeuse will eventually go supernova but the timing is uncertain. Stars like Betelgeuse have relatively short lives. Even though it's only about 8 million years old, it's already nearing the end of its life cycle. When it does go supernova, it will mark the dramatic end of a star's evolution, creating heavy elements like iron and releasing vast amounts of energy into space. Here's another question many people ask. How long do we have to wait for Betelgeuse to go supernova? The short answer is, we don't know. It could happen tomorrow, or it could take thousands of years. The light from Betelgeuse takes 725 years to reach us, so we're actually seeing the star as it was over seven centuries ago. If it went supernova today, we wouldn't know until the light arrived, which could take centuries. When Betelgeuse eventually does explode, it will be an awe-inspiring sight. It would shine brighter than the full moon, and could even be visible in the daytime. But don't worry. Even though Betelgeuse is close by in cosmic terms, it's still far enough away to avoid any danger to Earth. So is Betelgeuse about to explode? It's hard to say for sure. The dimming we saw in 2019 wasn't an immediate sign of a supernova, but it did provide a fascinating glimpse into the behavior of Red Supergiant the star might still have millions of years to go before its final explosion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.
And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the wonders of the universe. Thanks for watching.